Hi everyone, today we're going to go through showing how to create these six shapes for our toy blocks in activity 1.2.2. We're going to start with Fusion, now that we've logged in. We're going to try and create new components for each of our blocks. We're not going to worry about the name for right now, but once we create a component, we can create a sketch, choose which plane we'd like it to be on, and then start our shape. In this case, before we start a shape, we actually do want to change our units in our document from millimeters. If we choose the little button next to it, we need to change that to inches and hit OK. Then we can hit our rectangle. I'm going to start mine on this red plane right here and click once and let go and move my cursor a little bit. We're going to have three inches on one side. I'm going to hit the tab key and put 1.5 on the other. I can either hit enter or click my mouse to accept that shape. We're going to create a circle and it's going to be in the middle okay, of this shape. If you kind of see we get that little dotted line that shows it's in the middle and connect that to the bottom line of our rectangle. All right, we want this to be 1.5 inches. All right? If you want to snip away the other lines, you can use this little trim tool and trim these away if you want. You do not have to do that. It's just if you want to. Okay? We're going to finish our sketch. Okay, and we're going to extrude this shape. You may have to click on it to 1.5 inches. Okay, and this is our first shape. If we check back here, we saw it was 3 inches by 1.5 inches by 1.5, and we had a 1.5 inch curve. Obviously or not, if you see, these are slightly different um, in from the drawings to the 3D models, and that is okay. That's perfectly fine. We're going to make a second shape, but first we need to make a new component again. So we're going to click on this unsaved, the moment, uh, this top level in our browser, and then hit create new component so that these are even, that component two isn't nested within. It'll kind of hide this for now. We're going to start another sketch, and this time I'm going to start it on that front plane again. All right, and this time we're going to do that half circle. So I'm going to choose a circle. I'm going to start it down on the bottom here on that red plane. It's going to be 1.5 again, but we need to make a line. Okay, our line tool in the upper left. The line goes from one side to the other of our circle. This one might not, doesn't want to snap. So if it doesn't want to snap, oh, there it goes. Um, you can zoom in or out to try and get it and then we can click. All right, we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude the top half to 1.5 again. We hit enter. If I click my little house over my view cube, we can see both shapes. All right, and again, now we need to create another component. So again, we have to click up on the upper level, up in the browser, click that once, then hit create, new component, hit OK. And then again, it'll make it in line with the rest of these. So our next component is going to be the circle, the cylinder, that's one inch by three inches tall. So we're going to create a sketch. This time I'm going to do it on the top plane. All right, our top plane. All right, I'm going to click my uh, scroll wheel in to pan, and then I'm going to use a circle somewhere over here. It's going to be one inch. Just type one and hit enter, and we finish the sketch. If we extrude, it'll automatically select it since it's the only thing we have. We said it was three inches tall, and now we have that shape. So again, we come over here, we click on the top level, we hit create, we hit new component, we hit OK. Since again, we're not naming these anything specific right now. Then we have our next rectangle. It's one and a half by 0.75 inches. Okay, so we're going to make a sketch. We're going to choose our top again. Okay, I'm going to click my scroll wheel and move this over. I'm going to grab a rectangle tool. 
and I'm going to click on the line. It's going to be 1.5 in one direction. I'm going to hit tab and then 0 0.75. Hit enter and come up to the right and finish our sketch again. And then extrude. You're noticing a pattern here, hopefully. <laughs> this one is going to be four and a half inches tall. So we type 4.5 and hit enter. And here's our next shape. So again, we come over to the browser, we click on our top level, we hit create, new component, we hit OK. All right, again, it hides that next one. We hit create sketch. We're going to do on the top surface again. OK, I'm going to click my scroll wheel and just drag over so we can see. We're going to make another rectangle of the same size somewhere along here. So I'm going to make, again, 1.5. We're going to hit tab. We're going to put 0 0.75. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to finish the sketch. This one's going to be 3 inches tall. So I'm going to extrude to 3 inches and hit enter. That one's done now. So then again, just like before, we click the top component here. We hit create, new component. We hit OK because we're not changing the name. All right. Our next one, oh, our last one, um, is going to be one and a half by one and a half by three tall. So we make a sketch on our top plane. I'm going to click my scroll wheel and move it over. I'm going to make a two point rectangle on the line. This is going to be 1.5, hit tab, 1.5, hit enter, finish the sketch extrude and that's going to be three inches and hit enter okay these are all six of our pieces to see everything we're going to come back up to this top level and we're actually going to click this little button this radio button that says activate component and then if we click anywhere now we can see all six of our shapes all together at this point make sure you save your work this is going to be activity 1.2.2 you could put just 1.2.2 you could put activity 1.2.2 that's up to you save all right and to send this in please make sure you take a screenshot all right usually that's windows shift s on your keyboard and make sure to choose the entire screen okay because i want to be able to see your browser in the left here where it shows your components. Okay, once it pops up, you can click on it. We can see it here. We should be able to save it and send it to our activity in Canvas. And that's it.